now that we have our first blood oath with on let's continue on with some more confidant links um probably not oh yeah do you want to hang out dude it won't deepen yet but next time let's see if i make coffee I don't know if making coffee will deepen my bond with him as much as just spending time with him. But I know I can make coffee and get closer to him. Because I really do want to get closer to Sojo so that we can make more coffee. And also because I want to see what Sojiro is up to. Especially now that we have Futaba saved, I think he's going to open up a lot more. Okay, that did nothing to get me closer to him. So next time we are just going to talk to him directly. But hey, at least we have an extra coffee, right? It's not like we need it. Uh, okay. Oh, Makoto wants to hang out? Yeah, we could hang out. Sure. In the torrential rain. Makoto, maybe you should find an indoors place to hang out and not the school. Uh, well, Crazy, right? Of course. Oh, it won't deepen yet. Um, okay, give me one moment. I'm gonna go buy something from the underground mall and see what she might like as a gift and then we'll go on a date with her okay i bought makoto a book cover from the underground mall hopefully she'll like that seems like something she would like so let's go somewhere fun yes somewhere stimulating okay someplace new harajuku sounds like good Okubo. I don't know if we can go to these places where while it's raining. Yeah. Harajuku. Weather's not good. Okay, looks like we're gonna go get some ramen, maybe. Unless there's... No, I can't go there. Yeah, let's go get some ramen. She probably never had that. Then... Yeah. How was it? Yeah. So you could always invite me or Ryuji or anyone else and we could go with you. It's worth trying though. large shall we return home yeah here would you like a book cover thank you uh, a little she wasn't <laughs> super fond of it <laughs> she needs to walk off the ramen Hello. Sure. I don't think we're going to increase yet. Ooh, I can't. Oh, no, I can't. Um, hold on. Let's see. 
Hifumi. What's the next thing? Narikin. Earn double money if a battle is won in one turn after a successful ambush. Yeah. I look forward to it. No present for her, but that's okay. Right now, I just want to spend the rest of the week quickly. Thank you for today. Thank you. Four more days, yep. Man, why are people on the fans like talking about a catchy? No one likes a catchy, come on. You wanna watch people in Shibuya? Uh give me a moment. I probably will. I just want to see. I could go up with the Kemi though. Yusuke and Ryuji. Should I finish the Kemi first, actually? I think I should. Don't pass out, okay? It's always going to be nice to have medicine. So. Really? Oh. Damn it. My charm's not high enough. Okay. Okay. You know what? Let's go hang out with Yusuke since he asked. And Ryuji didn't say anything. And hanging out with Yusuke is going to make my charm go up. By the way. I came to see you. <laughs> Okay. What kind of painting? I'm in your debt. And obviously, I definitely want all of my party members to get to rank 10 eventually. Thank you. So, what are we doing here? <laughs> I wouldn't call this a C. You're, you're gonna draw them. A second aspect. Passion. Okay. Couldn't you just draw on the bank? You don't have to be on the boat. them out man I guess in a way he is praising you two.
Oh. That's awkward. <laughs> How could this be? Well, that's another kind of love you could draw. Love comes in all forms. Yeah. I see. Well, at least it sort of worked out. All right. No. Um, just ignore it. See you. Why are you panicking? Just trust Futaba. Calm down. Hey! Oh yeah, I was. Ooh. You know what? We should do this first, though. The real question to be asked, and the rest of my money is gone. My 100k, all gone already. Uh, I gotta head into me mementos soon. You really are a master chef. <laughs> Can you do some real cooking? This was 5,000 yen. Hey, I'm requesting you to help you. So I could slack off in class, man. I can request you more often. But you gotta put in some effort, okay? What? Don't overdo it. Uh, is it real?
There we go. All right. You can now hire Kawakami to help out at home by brewing coffee or doing laundry, and she will help save time. <sighs> That's gonna be nice. I need you to do a lot of laundry. Good night. I imagine I have to pay her though. So I'm gonna need money. What's up? Yo. Sure. Hey, hey. How does Morgana even breathe in that bag all the time? Shouldn't it be really stuffy in there? I don't know. Secretly through the back gate. Should we really be going into the school? Oh no. That's unlike you. Go? Hmm? Of course I remember. I'm glad you've been talking to her. Don't you have goals? middle-aged man in the body of a high school girl. Actually... No. That reminds me. I think it's an amazing goal. You're right. That's true. We are in a weird situation. Thank you very much. There we go. Follow up attack. Hey. 
chemise is a camisole? I don't know. I know as little about fashion as you do. I'll see you later. I'm not insulting her, by the way. I'm not saying like her clothes are bad. I just don't know anything about it. Okay, we're actually gonna talk to you now. You got time right now? Where have you been? Been searching all along. Confessing twilight and on and on. Without the clue. Without a sign. The real question to be asked Where have I been? I'm a chef chef too At Post Masquerade Okay, let's help him out Alright then I should have brought out a persona. I am just wasting so much time. With Sojo. Because I just can't get his link up. Well, two days. Kimmy, well, we can't talk to him. And Yusuke is... Huh. You know what I want to do... ...today? It's been... It's been a while since we've... We got to read our books. Oh, I have to do it at night? Oh yeah. Good study. Let's take a look at our stats here. Let's see, guts and proficiency is at four. We need more knowledge, charm, kindness. I need to raise charm. So, no, I don't want the TV. I want oh. playing could build the charm. Yeah, let's do this. Gambla Goemon. Gamer Morgana. Odds are even. Uh oh. Yeah. Absolutely. Even. Easy.
nice. Okay. All right. Nice. Yeah, we play like all afternoon. No, I don't have the money for you. Oh, I should read the message though. Okay, let's read. Let's see. I could start one of these books, you know, get charm up. But actually what I kind of want to do is unlock more places for dating and stuff. So Chinatown sounds nice. Make sure you close up. Motomachi Chinatown. Yeah. Looks like a great place to visit. Street food too. Ryuji would like that. I think. Wow. To be honest, I think everyone would like that. Japan's largest Chinatown. Gourmet Chinese restaurants to line the streets. 4,000 years of history. Take a walk through a foreign city. Enjoy the stall, food, and souvenirs. All right. Nice. One day left for Futaba to recover. And we're just going to... We're just gonna oh. see what happens. Yeah, let's go. Ryuji, who else? Makoto? No, let's do Ryuji. We haven't spent time with him for a while. I actually don't know where he might be. Arcade, there it is. Jeez. What's up? Yeah, let's go hang out. Yamauchi. The miniature, the mini Kamoshida. The teacher, right? Okay. Let's hang out. Want to get going? Why are we sneaking into school? Hmm. Well, I guess you could use the grounds. Hmm. Yeah, we could train at my place. I got an attic. What? 
Are you sure? Whoa. Yeah, Kamoshida's gone. Yamauchi, you're gonna believe him? Absolutely. Hmm. You want to explain that? <laughs> huh? <laughs> nice. And having a second person to cure recoveries is gonna be nice too. Let's go! More ramen? I just had some, man. Well then. Mm-hmm. Haven't heard anything. It'll be fine. Where have you been? Been searching all along. Yeah, that's true too. Believe in Futaba. Okay. I'll just add this. Let's save here. Really? Sure. Let's join her. Sky Tower. Oh, new place unlocked. Oh wow. Actually. This place is great. That's what reporters do.
you still like Shogi? I think that's the answer you needed then. This Yagura Gate. What are your moves? Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Medjed? Futaba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. How's Futaba? Same as always. Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Here, I've got a cup for you too. Futaba reminds me she's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? Oh, that reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor. I, I mean, that woman in the suit, right? Yeah. I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. What? That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death a suicide. But I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off, thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... <sighs> that's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. Those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? I don't know. Of course, uh, sorry. Futaba! Nice to see you awake. It's cold. Uh, uh huh? You can't sell this. N never mind that, but uh, how did you get here? Uh, I walked? Sounds about right. 
You're okay? Was that bad? Th that's not it. I'm just shocked to see you out of the house. Uh, I'm sorry I worried you. Futaba's posture, though. <laughs> that's the posture of a gamer, if I've ever seen one. It's all right. By the way, what's the date today? Uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah. You know, the cleanse. Oh, I remember now. Majed. Let's take care of it now. Come. Man, she's wearing cargo pants. That's weird. I don't expect cargo pants have. to be that comfortable. <laughs> Medjed. Now how do we cook them? Eliminate them. <laughs> Violent much? Hey Futaba, we don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? Is this the first time she's heard you talk? <laughs> the kitty talked? Is this a dream? I'm going back to sleep. Please don't. It is not a dream. Get up. Say something. Ah, uh, he's the talking cat. R right. Now hurry it up. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Holy crap, Morgana! Let her do her stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, Futaba. Morgana. I don't think she can hear me. <laughs> Talk about intense concentration. Oh, look at that that cow doll she has on top of her computer. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. Utaba, you should really clean your room a bit. Huh. She's not listening. Oh well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. Are you sure you should be touching her stuff? Okay, well, I guess I can dust. Whew. It looks a little better now, don't you think? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> guess we'll just have to keep waiting. She has an entire drawer of snacks. <sighs> Next to her. Done! <laughs> uh, what's up? Something happened? It's finished. Okay. Finished? What is? So, what'd you do? Uh, it's so clean! Why? We cleaned it. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. I don't understand, but this is good. Futaba? And back hey, to sleep. Futaba, what's wrong? <sighs> She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep too. No, she's asleep again. She's back asleep. Oh, yeah, sure.
I hope we get an actual scene this time. Yeah, let's just sleep. Goodbye, Medjit. So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Whoa. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. I can see that. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Pyramid of Wrath. What are you all smirking about? Hmm, something great happened. Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. Where are your customers? After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Don't say it out loud. Can it? My <laughs> customers are on summer vacation too. Oh crap, I just realized our break's almost over. There are still 10 days left. You, what, you guys want to go celebrate? I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. We could take her with us. Some things still concern me too. Like that research. Did you just get up? Good morning. <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Yeah. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. This politician sounds delus delusional. Jeez. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura, and Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. 
If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other Metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Well, it certainly looks like you're starting to pay some more attention to the story. Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? How self-centered of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. I think the intention behind the action makes it different. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. All right. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? Think the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims, like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the Metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? <sighs> she is quite difficult. For some reason, I don't think she's she's really willing to talk to you guys. Or she's just really hungry. That smell. Aw, <laughs> no fair. Hey, can I snag a bite? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking. Even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? Yeah. The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Oh. Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Oh, uh, 
So, Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? I guess so. You should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Oh, true. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Yeah, she's a much better navigator and... an analyzer than you, Morgana. Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you <laughs> obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. True. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? Uh, maybe she communicates better through the phone. Honestly, I think she's okay as is. Uh, that ain't gonna fly. First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each we could go on a trip. Day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. <laughs> see. We do have the time thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach. There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. Okay. That's a great idea. I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Yeah, we've been so busy with the palaces. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay. Ooh. Looks like it's time for a lot of fun. Oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> Good luck. Why me? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Mejid was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Yeah, I imagine everyone would be talking about us. Good to hear. Probably easier for her to talk through text. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. 
Well, tomorrow we're gonna start training Futaba to open up to us. Oh, come on, Mishima. That's true. Yeah. Well, tomorrow... Oh my god, stop. Tomorrow we're gonna find out our new approval rating and we're gonna rid Futaba of her unease by, I don't know, hanging out with her, going to the beach, fun stuff. Until then, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.